Hello, guys. Welcome to Live at Five. It's Tuesday, February 20th. I'm Beth Stevens. I'm Andy Lefkowitz. And we are here with producer Matt Roden. Hi, everybody. And a fabulous, fabulous guest. Yes. Mr. Ben Fankhauser is Ooh. here. Woohoo! <laughs> well, that was a good one. But first, yes. uh, let's get started with the news, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we found out today that Torch Song is officially transferring to Broadway. Very exciting. Yep, so this is the reboot of Harvey Firestein's Torch Song trilogy that played second stage last year. Just called Torch Song. It's just song Torch, but actually the title's been expanded to Harvey Firestein's Torch Song. Ah, got his name in there. Yes, and it's (laughs) going to be playing the Helen Hayes Theater, which was recently acquired by second stage. Right. Michael Urie and Mercedes Rule are going to repeat their performances for the run. Hallelujah. Yes, and it's going to kick off performances on November 1st. Wow. Very, very exciting. Uh, We also today got more casting for MTC's, it is MTC, right? I'm not it crazy. It is MTC. St. Joan. I'm like, that would be bad if I messed that up. St. Joan got more casting today. Right. So we knew Condola Rashad, three-time Tony nominee. Condola Rashad yeah. was playing Joan of Arc in St. Joan. This is the George Bernard Shaw St. Joan. Uh, we have the casting, all the guys. So Jack Davenport, mm. who you know from Smash, yes. is making his Broadway debut as Warwick. We also have Walter Bobby in his first, can you believe this, you guys? Oh, my his God. His first acting role on Broadway in 26 years. The last one was The 92 nicely, revival nicely. of Guys Johnson. and Dolls. Uh, I saw right. that revival. <laughs> Faith Prince and Nathan Lane. That was That's an amazing right. revival. Oh too. my God, that was like You were itch. too, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> and also we have Adam Chandler Barat and Tony winner John Glover and Tony nominee Daniel Sunjata. Yes. You're excited Take about that especially. Out. And Patrick Page, wonderful, wonderful cast supporting Condola Rashad and Daniel Sullivan's directing. This opens or, I'm sorry, it begins previews April 3rd at the Samuel J. Friedman Theater and opens on April 25th. Nice. Yes, yes, yes. A bunch of off-Broadway shows we found out today are, are getting extensions. It was a good day for off-Broadway shows, let's Indeed. Say. So Sarah Burgess's new play, Kings, has been extended at the Public Theater. Uh, it is now going to run there through April 1st. And Cruel Intentions, the musical, is going to run at Le Poisson Rouge through no. Pardon me, through April 8th. And I like the, the way you say that, Le Poisson Rouge. Le Poisson Rouge. Let's be French I took about French it. French girl. <laughs> um, but it's going to run through April 8th. Final extension for Cool, Exten- cool Intentions. Yeah. It. Yeah. It's very good. It's very fun. And if you. And you might have a crush on the lead. It, it could happen. And he was know. here last week. I so know. if you want to see. Rizzoli. Constantine Rizzoli. He was here last week if you want to go check that out. Uh, some new leads starting tonight in Book of Mormon and Aladdin. Very exciting for them. This is really exciting because both of the previous people who were in these shows were there forever. So some new, fresh people in Aladdin. That is Ariel Jacobs begins as Princess Jasmine in, um, and I'm sorry, and the Book of Mormon welcomes Dave Thomas Brown as Elder Price and the return of Cody Jameson as Elder Cunningham. Nice. Very, uh, very I mean, exciting. I like having you know new, new, new fresh people. New fresh people in great, sold out, amazing hit shows. Right. Yes. It's like it's it, these shows are like running and will probably run now for, and forever. Now and forever. Oh, I love it. Uh, and last but certainly not least, we we put up a slew of a spring previews oh, yeah. over the weekend yes. and a new one today. So we have a great feature with Condola Rashad, who Beth interviewed for St. Joan. She's such a smart lady, right? Oh my goodness, what a fantastic piece. She's so smart. Uh, Daphne Rubin Vega, whom we all love from Rent and a bunch of other shows. And And Giselle Jimenez are featured in the new musical Miss You Like Hell at The Public. So we have a feature with them. Uh, Dame I Diana talked to Rigg. Dame Diana yes, Rigg. Dame. We drank Prosecco together. Oh Don't my be goodness. jealous. I love it. And today, uh, Lashans, who's in Summer, the Donna Summer musical. Yes, and Lashans. that is a fabulous feature. She's got her hair out. She's looking like a diva. Amazing. Awesome. And that's well. it. And that's, and that's it. it. All right. So we'll, we'll be right back with Mr. Ben Finkhauser. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled to tell you Ben has appeared on Broadway in Disney's Newsies. Uh, and on the National Tours of Spring Awakening and Beautiful, the Carol King musical. In his 54 Below show, Ben reimagines Broadway standards and pop hits with brand Fankin. That's very clever. New arrangements like you've never heard before. Join Ben and the Fank Five. I love it. Uh, for an unforgettable evening of your favorite songs, all fanked up. We're just going to keep with the Fank puns. Uh, and if you have questions for Ben, you can leave them in the comments right now. And we'll get to as many as we possibly can. And now here is Beth and Ben. Thank you, Matt. 
I really thought you were going to say if you want to leave some thanking questions. Oh. It's possible. Anyway. Very possible. Welcome, Ben Thankhauser. Thank you for having me. Oh, you've done that before. You've maybe done, once or maybe twice. Maybe once or twice. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm great. Thanks so much for having I me. I think you should just say hi to the fansies right now because I'm sure they're watching. I hope so. Hi, you guys. Great to see you, as always. Tell me about your new show. So, um... Like Matt said, I've uh, reimagined like my favorite Broadway standards and a couple pop tunes. And anyone who knows me closely knows that I sort of sit at my piano in my living room and like do this on a daily basis anyway. Um, and now I have a seven-piece band to back me up. And wow, I have, cool. um, yeah, I have an uh, amazing arranger and music director, Charlie Rosen, who's got a big band himself, and he's a big jazzer, and he's put together this incredible band for me. And I have special guest vocalist Natalie Weiss. Who joins well, me? You can actually, if you go to your Instagram account, we can hear you vocalizing with her. Yeah, we had a couple practice uh, sessions. We're going <laughs> to be doing some riffing and harmony and some, um, some high seizing of the day. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna seize a day or two. Yeah, <laughs> but you have to come to Fifty Four Below to see. That's right. So to tell see us the when seizing. your show is. So the shows are. I have two more this week. I have uh, one on Thursday and one on Sunday, both at nine thirty. And I think there are still a few tickets left available. Yes. Um, and I would I would love to see you guys there. And the it's, late show. That's right. It's the late show. It's a party right. up in there. Where it gets funky. That's so right. So tell me some of the sh so tell me how you choose your songs and give us a little sneak peek. Um. Well, mostly it was, like I said, it, it, this idea was born out of like me on the late night with my friends sitting around my apartment, sort of like reimagining, I don't know, like, uh, oh, what a beautiful morning, for example, okay. which is the so classic, true standards. like true golden age standards um, that is I this put. Is why you're so dressed up? Wearing a um, tie? You're looking yes, very well, sharp. Yes, well, for Broadway.com, of I course. Th that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Yes. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, 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 and so and so we do a, a lot of like jazz funk, like think like sort of Michael Bublé meets Broadway meets pop. Wow. Um, and it's sort of like straight this from the very soul. Sounds classy, Ben. It is really classy, <laughs> and uh, it's a lot of fun too. And um, like I said, it's 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 just I poured my my soul and heart into this show, and um, it's it's authentic to who I am. So uh, I I'm really enjoying sharing. You're doing it with what people. you love. That's, That's right. Great. That's right. All right. We have to talk about Newsies. Yes, we do. How did it feel to watch yourself on the big screen? Man, it was bizarre. I mean, it was like great. <laughs> and I'm talking about the, the stage, I mean, the screen version of, of Newsies, which right. you all got to be in. Right, right. And then you all went and saw it together. Yeah, we did. They had a nice screening for us. And, um, that was so much fun because like everyone and their family were, was at the screening, and so like every time someone like got shown on the screen, you'd hear like a cheering section, <laughs> be like, "Woo!" Like, <laughs> go ahead. Um, but it was amazing, and it was it was great to see the whole thing finished because our camera directors, you know, brilliantly added um, you know tension and moments of comedy with like the close-ups and all that mm -hmm. stuff, which you can't normally achieve. In a, in a show, right. in a Broadway style show. Um, and so it was really neat to see the finished product because I, I hadn't seen it until we were in the theaters. It was very moving. And now we have that record that's always that's there. That's right. Go just on preserved. Netflix, iTunes. That's right. Yeah. So I, I know everyone's wondering this, so I'm just going to ask Is there a big group te text of the Newsies? I think there are a couple of group texts. Can yeah. we be on them so we can just Oh, absolutely. See? Oh, good. So yeah, we're all yeah. going to sign up for that. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I know you all have so many questions. The Facebook <laughs> Live people are just foaming at the mouth, trying to ask you questions. <laughs> <Lots. and it's laughs> I'm watching Matt it. scroll I love it. frantically. So, uh, Matt, what kind of questions do we have for Ben? Facebook, Twitter, all the things. Everywhere. Okay, oh so boy. we're going to start off with Twitter, and then, and then we'll hop over to Facebook. Have you? Uh, would you ever release an album and go on tour, says Sincere Lay, I think her name is Lee or Lay, underscore me. Would you ever release an album? Um, yes and yes. First of all, love the Twitter handle. I'm a big <laughs> fan of the puns. Uh, in clearly. your name, and really? <laughs> yeah, clearly, I'm shocked by that. <laughs> and um, yes, I'm uh, working on a solo album. Um, a lot of the things from my show will be included on that. Um, and I've spent, I guess, maybe like three and a, and a half years on the road. So I'm happy to get back out on the road. Right. So you with toured in show. Spring Awakening, of That's course, right. and then you toured with beautiful yeah. Bob Carroll King musical. That's and you were right. Barry Mann. I was. Did you get to hang out with Barry Mann and talk to him? We did in, a, in L.A. And um, Becky Galsvig and I, who, who played my opposite, Cynthia Weil, we got to do this great press event in San Francisco where we got to hear Barry at the piano, like sing on Broadway. Wow. You know, That's like amazing. he's the guy who wrote on Broadway, singing on Broadway. It was like a total mind-blowing experience. And are you as much of... Um, 
a hypochondriac as Barry Mann is in Beautiful. I don't know him personally, but in the show, he's quite a hypochondriac. He, he is, and um, I wouldn't say I'm like quite a worrier, although like I do stress out about certain situations and my health. You know, of course, is like day to day different. No, um, <laughs> I, I I do think I, I have some tendencies towards the hypochondriac. Maybe not as as like. Um, characterized, I guess, as Barry Mann, That's but good. boy, it was a, a ton of fun to play. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Matt, I know we have a million more, so I'm, I won't yeah. interrupt again. Yeah, Sophie wants to know, what inspired you to get into musical theater? All right, let's go back. Oh, do you need You've been doing this forever. I have, like, since as long as I can remember. I, um... You know, I, my Hanukkah present every year was a season subscription to the road shows. Um, I grew up in Cleveland that came through uh, Playhouse Square. And s since... So what like were your early shows you got to see that inspired you? My early shows? Oh, my God. There are so many. Um, I saw <laughs> I saw a Starlight Express, okay? Wow. That came through. I saw... PBT. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Um, another one for you, uh, Bombay Dreams that came oh, through. Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> which are actually baby. To, <laughs> oh, my God. We're all just going to say random things. <laughs> Um, I think I saw like. So you were inspired by Starlight Express and Bombay, and Bombay Dreams. Dreams. Just That's to the your reason question. I'm into, into theater. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't know. Like I, I always love being in the audience and being just transported, and I wanted to give that feeling back to people. So. It, that's why I did you it. You can't it was, remember when you weren't doing this, can you? That's right. There, there was no like aha moment. It was just like I know this is what I'm gonna be. I don't know how. There was not. A, there was not a how yet. I didn't mm -hmm. know how I was Got gonna you. do it, but I just knew I was gonna be on stage in front of people. And, and here you are. And here I am. Jen wants to know, during moments of self-doubt, what inspired you to keep working towards your dreams? Oh well, my that's gosh, a that's a great question. Someone else asked, like, what's the greatest life lesson you've learned? So I feel like we can loop those two. Yes, we want oh your life Oh my God, I didn't know this was going to be. Okay, oh so boy. Deep, so deep. Do you want to um, lie down on the couch? No, yeah, do you guys <laughs> mind? <laughs> um, what inspires me to keep going? I, You know, I just have such a passion for what I do and for theater in general and art and... Um, it's really hard sometimes when you're feeling like you can't go on, but you got to just think positively and have faith. Like my mom would say, like, you just got to have faith, um, not faith in anything in particular, just this general notion of like, I know that this will come when, you know, faith when in I'm, yourself, I yeah, think. Faith, faith, totally faith in yourself. And, um, other than that, yeah, like positive thinking, I think is huge. And like trying to like sh shush that like negative voice in your head. That's mm -hmm. like. Mm, this people might not like this or you know you might get laughed at for this or something like that so um yeah just just try and have faith and um and seize the day people hey come on bring it right on back <laughs> bring it right on back um these are all these are classics uh oh on stage bloopers some on stage mishaps Classic any, any good stories <laughs> any good stories oh many many good stories in in newsies during the um king of new york the tap dance number i had quite a few um spills because like it's a slippery stage and the taps are like these slippery metal things in your yes. shoes and when you're like a you know a two year trained dancer two you know year like you dancer. can't like his whole life the, yeah right exactly um yeah so i i had some spills in should newsies. we talk about jesus christ superstar in high school go on oh i just his, wow his that face dropped. that <laughs> face because that was a real on stage blooper for you I heard. Oh my God. I do my research, everyone. Yo, that's so. So, who, funny. what part were you playing? Okay, so I was able to be Jesus and Jesus Christ Superstar, and um, they. <laughs> the hey, most Jewish Jesus. Thank you so much. Jesus. And I had, I had, there's a picture of me on the internet. I had like this long hair, this like Farrah Fawcett, <laughs> like. Oh, that hair. sounds lovely. And I had just gotten my braces off, so I was like. <laughs> Ding. Jesus with braces off. Yeah, he was thing. like, oh my God. <laughs> and. Um, and I think Corey Cott was in that production too. I wonder if this is how you know this. Okay. I'm not telling you how I know things. Okay. I and can't Max Jernan. Right. Okay. So I'm at the end. Um, spoiler alert: there is a crucifixion, <laughs> and um, <laughs> and I had to wear this like loincloth made out of a dance belt. And if you don't know what a dance belt is, look it up. Look it up. <laughs> and um, I, in like I don't know what happened. I guess it was like a fast sort of change. And I put my leg into the wrong like you know when you're putting on like underwear basically i as if i put both my legs into one um foot hole it was an explicit crucifixion yeah yeah there say. was some there was some uh, some good cheek action if you will oh wow 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 um <laughs> ashley wants to know if there were a movie or a musical of your life who would you choose to portray you wow oh boy I guess it couldn't be me, could it? I, be, why not? Well, yeah, I mean, right? It could, if it was a musical, like a song and dance <laughs> moment. It'd be you. So, yeah, okay, I'll <laughs> say me. Great, <laughs> love that. Um, who's someone that you'd like to get a chance to work with who you haven't worked with in the past? 
from oh Jaslyn. Thanks, Jaslyn. Um, Put it out oh there, Ben. Oh, boy. I know she would never do it, but Beyonce? Oh, aim high. <laughs> aim high. Why not? Yeah, why not? Yeah, she, um, she might want to do the do Broadway it. thing, maybe. Yeah, she loves a, she loves a Broadway standard R- yeah. banked up. That's right. Hey. Uh, right. Newt Jess, what's your opinion on pineapple on pizza? Mm-mm. Wow. Uh-uh. Oh. Oh, you saying no? Uh-uh. No. Says no. I mean, that's if a, that's the only pizza at the party, no, yes, I'll eat it. That's a strong answer. It's a strong answer. It's just like the sweet, I'm like a pepperoni, like classic. savory Classic. He's a classic kinda, dude. Yeah. That's <laughs> a lot of flavor going on. I'm going to combine some questions again. Uh, current TV slash movie slash music or band obsessions at the moment. Who are you listening to? What are you watching? Um, that's I'm, a lot of slashes. That, that's a lot of slashes. Yeah, I know. I'm watching um, Shit's Creek. Uh, slash um, Shoshana Bean slash <laughs> always yeah oh yeah <laughs> always yeah, Shoshana yeah, Bean um, slash RuPaul's Drag Race slash what was the other one I'm not sure uh, listening movies? watching oh, movies. Uh, movies oh boy oh I Tanya did you guys see I Tanya I think these could all be combined I really do yeah so one 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 amazing big, piece of art one big thing <laughs> yes. Just um, any uh, favorite backstage memories or um, favorite backstage shenanigans that you can share? Oh my gosh, there are so many. These this is always like such a stumper because there are just so many. Um, uh, when in Newsies, Andrew and I would always get into some. Andrew Kina Boulder and I would get into some ridiculous antics, and there was one time we were making a video for something, and we decided it would be funny, like if someone walked in on us and we were like shaving our legs for some bizarre reason. <laughs> I don't know why that's coming to mind right now, <laughs> but many bizarre antics. I did not see that coming. Last <laughs> but certainly not least, yes. Dream Roll. Oh, oh, many on. many people asked. So I'm Dream Roll. I put it out there because man, a lot of things come true. That's people right. that say things this on Live at Five. To do it. Just is gonna this say. the place to do it? Yeah. Can I say Evan Hansen? I knew that was coming. <laughs> is that bad? That's <laughs> no. not a stretch at all. Not a stretch. Hey, Ben, thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. Go see Ben at 54 Below. Thursday. Thursday. Thursday and Sunday and at Sunday 930. At 9.30. Get thanked up Broadway. That's right. With Come the Fank Five. That's right. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Oh, very, very nice. (laughs) (laughs) Matt, take us out. (laughs) I'd be happy to. Thank you guys so much for tuning in if you're watching us live. And uh, you can watch us live at 5 every single weekday on Broadway.com's Facebook page. If you like podcasts, maybe you listen to this right now, or you just want a different way to consume this show, you can subscribe to the Live at 5 podcast. comes out every single day right after Live at 5. And be sure to join us tomorrow for a very special live. It's at 5, but we're not calling it Live at 5. Some of the cast of SpongeBob SquarePants the Musical is going to be coming into the studio to play Never Have I Ever Live. That is sure to be craziness. Happy Tuesday, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.